Hi right, everyone, doesn't this look nice where I am? Hard to believe it's uh, October and it's gorgeous. Oh, by the way, this has nothing to do with today's video. Nothing whatsoever. On today's video, Tegan is going to pull a face. Ruben is going to make some noise. And I'm going to be reviewing the accommodations that we stayed at at the Park Dean Resort of Lou Bay in Cornwall. Just going to show you the other rooms. Hey guys, welcome to Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. My name is Nigel Hay and this is Nigel's Chief Vlogs and on today's vlog we are going to be travelling over to United Kingdom and staying at the Park Dean Resort of Lou Bay. Before we go any further please like and subscribe by the links below uh, to this video if you like it. folks we have made it to Cornwall 4,000 miles later and we're here and it's gorgeous sunshine as you can see skies are blue our dwellings are pretty good for the week we can't grumble and, uh, and uh, yeah this is uh, this is our place for the week so we're here in Lou and uh, gonna have some fun I think let's quickly show you around and uh, this is the inside. Here's Jaden. It's our little tra we're trailer trash for the week, folks. Trailer trash. This is our bedroom. Yep. How cozy is that? All right. There's the pooper oh. room. We have our own little. All right. And we have our own little <laughs> toilet and shower and oh, stuff. So yeah. And we have a TV. We have a little kitchen. Yeah, Danny's being very English and leaving the eggs not in the refrigerator. See, it's very English that. So, let's have a look over here. Just gonna show you the other rooms. Yeah. There's Grumpy Ass. <laughs> so, uh, this is Grumpy Ass room. And uh, here's another room. And uh, there's a bathroom in there. There you go. And we have a washer and dryer, but we think it's just a washer. <laughs> It's a two in one. I'm it's a two in one. Alright, so there's our little tour of the caravan. We're here in sunny Cornwall. inside our caravan the caravan we booked was the king sand caravan and it is described on their website as a superb modern model with a central lounge area and bedrooms at either end so it's great for couples or families that are sharing it is packed with home comforts for a great holiday on the deck right now you can see there is a nice large picnic table which you could use if it was sunny unfortunately when we were there it rained a lot as you walk through the doors, you'll be greeted by the kitchen. The kitchen is very nice. It comes with a cooker, microwave, kettle, toaster, uh, over-the-range herd, pots and pans, cups and saucers, plates, 
uh, knives and forks and everything you need. Then into the lounge we go, we have a nice long sofa, which I have to admit was a little comfortable, but you could lounge on it, which is good. A uh, color TV, uh, fully functioning, and a fireplace and a nice table. Okay, moving on to the main bedroom. As you can see as you walk in, it is another big double glazed window. This is the bed. I believe it's meant to be a queen. It's a small queen if you ask me. A couple of shelves up there. And uh, just as I spin around, there's a wardrobe, which I was trying to get my camera in to show you how deep and how big it was, but I failed. But put it this way, my suitcase did fit in there open, uh, which is where I stored my stuff for the week. Back to the bed if I could. Um, it was uncomfortable for the fact that the mattress probably does need replacing. I could really feel the springs, but apart from that, it was nice. Uh, the bedding was clean as well. All right, onto our ensuite bathroom. Uh, we have a toilet sink, and we also have a really good shower. The shower was very powerful, uh, even though the room was a little small, but I did enjoy it. Okay, moving on to the other side of the caravan. Uh, this is the other bathroom. This one is a shared bathroom. It's exactly the same as the one in the bedroom at the other end, but this one is shared uh, at the bottom end. Here you have uh, bedroom number two, uh, two singles, and uh, is bedroom number three, two more singles. Uh, both rooms do have a, a little wardrobe. It is tiny, but there is a little wardrobe in each one. And as we just come out of here, there is a little utility room here. And in this room, you will find this amazing thing called a washer dryer. But the funny thing is, it does take all bloody day to do one wash and one dry maybe all night even. And that is your heater uh, for the hot water and the radiators. And this is a map of the park. This is the swimming pool, which was quite nice. And this is the nighttime entertainment. Is an arcade. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Overall, the resort was very, very nice. We we're very happy with Lou Bay and the resort itself. Um, can't really grumble. Inside the venue right there, there is a bar and restaurant. The restaurant was good. We did have breakfast there one morning, uh, two for six ninety five, which was really, really good. Uh, for tidiness, the place was really tidy. The mess in the picture there only arrived that day, and that's because they were moving a caravan out of the way. Uh, one of the downsides of the park I didn't like was probably the color of all the caravans. Uh, that miserable green wasn't very very nice in my opinion uh, i think a nicer color would have been much better but overall the caravans were nicely spaced out there's ample of parking and the place was very very clean uh, other things of interest uh, we used the pool it was really really good just down the road there is a local shop which is extremely well uh, stocked there is a kids play area uh, also an indoor one as well and basically overall it was really really good and worth the money uh, we paid 439 pounds for our caravan for the week and that was mid-september um, prices will vary though depending on the time of the year i will add links into this video for park dean uh, lou bay and anything else that's been mentioned in this video so hopefully this has been very uh, interesting and factful uh, for anyone that's been wanting to see what Lou Bay actually looks like and a bit more of a detailed tour of their caravan they do have lots and lots of different uh, varieties of caravans we chose the King Sand because it met our needs so overall I will give the resort 8 out of 10 it was really really good and value for money